Yo, what is up guys, Carnish50 here, and today the gameplay you guys are going to see in the background is a solo 46 sun streak on the map Stronghold with the M8A7, and also, uh, this is going to be my 6th episode of my Nuclear in Every Map series, and also, sorry that the gameplay is from theater mode, uh, because obviously theater mode gameplays look a lot worse than they do, like, live recorded, so I'm sorry about that, but my Elgato, like, glitched out when I got this gameplay, so I couldn't record live at the time, so I had to record it from theater after... I fixed my Elgato, so I'm sorry about that, and I just wanted to do this just simply because it was like the last week of December and the entire year, um, so I thought it would be a good video to make, and it was kind of hard to like choose what to pick to, or like I knew, I knew what gameplays I wanted to pick, which five gameplays to pick, although like I didn't know the order just cause simply because like the five gameplays I, I picked were like really really good gameplays, and I'm pretty sure they're all world records too. So. So it was kind of hard for me to like choose an order, and and it was my fifth best gameplay that I've got in this year. It would probably have to be the world's fastest solo double mob, and I say this just simply because um I wasn't really trying for a gameplay this game like I because I knew like I wasn't the greatest at underground. Like usually I can get like a double mob easily, but like I can never get like a triple or like any fast mob. Like before this gameplay, I've never gotten any fast mobs whatsoever, and then I, after this game, I had a solo 70 second mob on this map, and I was just mind blown that I caught a 70 second mob on underground. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, that is the fastest mob on underground. Um, I'm not too sure about that. It might be. Uh, cause I personally haven't seen a faster one on that map. And usually you don't really see gameplays in general on Underground. Um, like in the past year I've probably seen maybe like two gameplays on it. And my fourth best gameplay that I've got in this year would probably have to be, um, the world's first solo triple mob with a shotgun. And when I say world's first solo triple, uh, shotgun mob, I mean like solo specifically. Like there have been, uh, shotgun triple mobs before. Although like every single one that have, has been achieved has been in like a full party or like a six man party or something. And and the one I got was completely solo, and also I just want to mention that I haven't uploaded this yet. So if you guys are wondering, like, where the hell is this gameplay, I haven't uploaded yet, although it is on the Carnage Clan channel, so if you guys want to go check it out, um, just go on Carnage and try searching, like, Triple Shotgun Mob, and try looking for mine, or, um, if you search that, you, you might be able to find it pretty easily. And I just love this gameplay just simply because it's, I mean, like, what can I say? It's the world's first solo shotgun triple mob. Like, every other single shotgun triple mob has been a full party, so, um, it was pretty crazy that I've gotten one solo. Um, it, I mean, it was with the USAS, but, like, e even still, like, with how good the USAS is, it's still it's extremely hard to, like, achieve that. And my third best gameplay that I've gotten this year would probably have to be, uh, my world's most kill solo with specialist. And this record's kind of specific, too. Um, I, when I say world's most kill solo with specialist, I mean specifically solo and with specialist. Like, there have been people that have got more kills with uh, playing solo and, but with assault. Uh, but no one has gotten more kills playing, like, specifically solo with with specialist um i know that's very very specific but you guys have to remember it's a lot like people have been, achieved like 250 kill games with specialists in like nine man parties and six man parties like if you guys knew like the standards for like uh full party gameplays in mw3 you would know that it's like way too high and like anyone can get a gameplay in this game like if you go in a nine man party in ground war like terminal dom a flag spawn trap like you I, like if i were to do that i could easily like drop the world's most kills like I, i'm not like saying that to be cocky or anything but like it is so easy trust me like it like if i can do this solo i'm sure i can do it like in a full party too and also i got a double mob in this gameplay too and a solo 67 second mob and 67 second mob it's not too too fast on this map i guess I, i'd say like a good like super fast mob on this map would be like under 60 seconds but um 67 seconds is still not too bad for this map and also i forgot to mention that i got 145 kills in that gameplay too and my second best gameplay would probably have to be um a solo 102 and 0 on havoc on black ops 3 and yes i did just say on havoc too like i was mind blown that i actually got this i actually got this only a few days ago um so that's why i haven't uploaded yet i'll probably upload it in like the next week or two and the thing i love most about this gameplay is that um i actually got five world records in this gameplay i got the world's highest kd in this gameplay i got the world's most kills flawless 
Um, I got the world's highest kill streak, the world's highest solo gun streak, and the highest flawless gun streak. So um, I was just super mind blown that I got this gameplay. Like, like I I knew the lobby that I got in was pretty good, just simply because it was like a Christmas new lobby. But like, I wasn't expecting to get a gameplay of this caliber. Like, like I I knew I would I would get something pretty good. I was expecting no more than like maybe like a 50, 60 gun streak or something. But no, I get a solo 102 and 0 kill game on Havoc out of all maps fucking havoc and i got a 71 gun streak in the game too and i wasn't even using any overpowered guns too the only guns i used throughout the entire gameplay was an ic or an weevil so i was just so mind blown that i got this and my number one best gameplay that i've gotten um this year would probably have to be the world's fastest solo triple mob and this is specifically the fastest solo triple mob um there has been faster triple mobs but only in like full parties every single other triple mob that has been achieved um solo at least it has been slower than this one that I'm mentioning right now. And the solo triple mob I got that was the world's fastest was in 5 minutes and 28 seconds. And the thing I love most about this gameplay um, was that I joined this game 40 points late. And I didn't even start my kills, my first mob streak until 90 points. And I think I got my last mob at like 190 points. So I basically got a triple mob at 100 points. And, and like if I didn't join this game late and if I managed to pull off a streak before um, the first 90 points then maybe I could have gotten a quad mob. That would have been just amazing if I got a solo quad mob and the world's fastest solo triple mob. Um, but I'm not really complaining. Um, as much as I want a solo quad mob, I'm still super happy about this gameplay. Um, it's easily one of the best gameplays I've ever gotten in all time, and easily the best one I've gotten this year. And that's all I want to talk about for today, and you guys should comment down below your guys' favorite gameplays that you guys have gotten this year. And also, if you guys want to see any of the gameplays that I mentioned in this commentary, um, I'll have them at the very top of the description of this video. So if you guys want to go watch those videos, the ones I've uploaded already, so far at least, um, then just go to the top of the description and you guys will see them. And also, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And that is all, guys. So peace out.